We've stopped by the Heritage Audio booth here at NAMM 2024 to check out their new line of i73 Pro interfaces. Now these are not just your regular audio interface because they are loaded with a 73 style Class A preamp. And the difference between each model is the i73 Pro 1 has one preamp, the i73 Pro 2 has two preamps, and then there's the i73 Pro Edge, which has two preamps as well as two additional line inputs and ADAT input as well as some additional line outputs. So if you want more I.O., this is the one you're going to want to get. So the 73 style preamps have everything that you would expect them to have. They've got a phase reverse switch, there's a pad, and there's also phantom power. There's also a high quality line in, or DI line in here, high Z line in. And the Heritage Audio uh, preamps DIs, they sound really great for instruments like bass and electric guitar, as well as synthesizers. The units also have a monitor controller functionality to them in that you can control the monitor output as well as the phone's output. So the big news here is that these interfaces have onboard DSP. So there's a software mixer utility here that allows you to run plugins for recording. It's a growing library of plugins. Uh, right now at the show, they're showing a Brit Strip plugin as well as a tape delay plugin, but I'm told that there's also a bass amplifier, guitar amplifier, tape saturator. There's a bunch of other plugins that are being developed right now. These come uh, bundled with the units. And then the software utility also allows you to have a little more control over the way that the monitoring is done. So you can select the phone's outputs to mirror the main outputs, or you can have them on an independent mix. And the cool thing about these interfaces too is that when you are recording into your DAW, you can print both the dry and the wet processed signal at the same time. So you don't have to worry about, like if you want to commit on the way in, you can, you can commit with the plugins, but you can also commit a dry signal as well so that you could have extra options in mix down. A very exciting feature set with these interfaces, they use USB-C to connect to your computer, and they also, all three of them, have MIDI functionality as well. So you can use them as a MIDI interface if you have legacy MIDI gear that doesn't connect to your computer directly via USB. So very exciting uh, development here from Heritage at NAMM 2024. We're going to keep walking the floors and see what we can come up with. This has been Andrew from B&H, and I'll see you next time.